Okay, it's April 8th or 9th, uh, 2009. It's the first year of the new garden. Uh, well, with any garden. Um, kind of want to make a few videos for our purposes later to see what we were thinking back when we did it and why we did it, maybe. Um, I guess I'll kind of take a walk and kind of spell out the plan so I can watch it later. This bed right here is a 2x8 bed, uh, and I intend to grow tomatoes in it this year. Uh, so these, these cages are made out of uh, concrete reinforcing mesh. Uh, one sheet cut in half and then bent to be round. The mix in all the boxes is a uh, triple mix, topsoil compost and potash, fly ash was what it said. Um, it's a work in progress, that's what we're starting with. Uh, all the all these first beds here are basically two 2x8s two stacked up uh, on top of each other uh, for a total of 14 and a half inches high. The posts in all the corners are two and a half by three and a half, four by four stock, whatever I, I had available. Um, they go a foot deep and uh, they were used to level the bottom of the bed. So the beds aren't actually sitting on the ground. They're, um, they're actually sitting a little bit above the ground and then the, the uh, decomposed granite is up to the edge. Uh, what I wanted was I wanted it to be level to the bricks that I widened out here and level to the the concrete walkway and the trailer pad and so all the bottoms of the boxes are supposed to be uh, leveled to that area. Um, going forward from this where I'm planning to grow the tomatoes I'm planning to build some more tomato cages or cages in general just for these uh, these beds. I wonder if that's a cat that's been walking in there or not, or one of the kids or what. But uh, there's prints. Um, planning to do peppers in these same cages in this bed. Uh, okay, so over here is the first four by eight bed, uh, and I'm planning to put that entire bed in strawberries. But I'm having a little bit of trouble finding the June bearing ones right now. I have to go to a couple other uh, garden centers maybe and figure that out. Um, this second 4x8 bed, and this is still the 14 and a half inch high variety, um, we're going to use it for carrots and beets. We have beets here at the close end and carrots at the far end, um, planted oh, about a week ago. Um, and the idea is to plant a couple rows, wait a week or two, uh, plant a couple rows so we can kind of extend the extend where we're getting because we like to eat them we're not as much looking to store some I would like to maybe look into freezing or canning a few things but we would really we'll eat as many carrots as we can grow I suppose but you know within within reason so uh, we're gonna try and extend those uh, this bed actually is a 4x8 bed um, with a 3x3 three three bed uh, appended to it uh, and what we have in here is, in this half, we have white onions, and in the far half, red onions. Uh, and then we're going to use this area here to grow radishes. And again, we're, we've got four different kinds of radishes in two rows right now. And then each week we're going to try and move it on down uh, and do them in succession. I maybe should have planted the rows going the other direction for where our sun is. Um, We'll see. Um, this next bed is basically a 4x8 bed, but I knocked the corner off so we could get around it and get the lawnmower around it. <clears throat> uh, in this close end of the bed, we've planted uh, three different kinds of lettuce and spinach. And it, we intend to do the same thing and move it down um, another four rows uh, in maybe a week or two. Um, at the far end, Is Swiss chard that's in varying states of okay. Maybe some better than others, but it's all an experiment this first year. Um, 
This next bed is actually one that we have a good number of things planted in uh, from seedlings. And Uh, two rows of of uh, basil planted. Lem one lemon basil and one Genovese basil. And then we also have cabbage in the close up. And then further on, you might not be able to really get a good look at it, but uh, further on, the other third of the bed is uh, broccoli. And uh, what I've done is I've taken this concrete reinforcing mesh on the inside, and I've tucked it into the sides, and I've zip tied two pieces together and then taken part of it off or uh, shorten the, the width of it so that it's lower uh, and not so subject to the wind. Right. So we're back around to where the strawberries are going to be. Uh, and then I have one, two, three, four more beds. And we're not exactly sure what we're going to do yet with yet, but uh, this fence is the north side of the lot here. And uh, what I'm intending is to try and grow green beans, uh, straight or crooknecked yellow squash and zucchini on trellis some cucumbers. So the what's against the fence, uh, I'm gonna build, I got some trellis netting and uh, materials I'm going to build trellises and uh, see what we can grow just kind of save space we're going to try and do the cucumbers up we're going to try and do maybe butternut squash or acorn squash maybe in this final bed back here